Hello everybody, I'm Linda, I'm the old bird, starting my new rosemary business. Look, I was getting ready to cook dinner, and I thought I would come on and share this chicken recipe with you as well. So here we go. I have two breasts. These are kind of large. It's all that my store had. And you need to wash them and season the breast. Now, I'm putting just a little salt and a lot of black pepper because they don't want my husband to have a lot of salt. So, season them really well. And you can also remove the skin. It's up to you. And then I flip them over. Wash my hands. You know I wash my hands all the time. I'm going to keep that running. No, I can cut it off. And look. You see that? That's my rosemary. That's a cut up onion. And that's a pepper that my husband's cousin gave to us. That's one there. He grew those. Didn't know what they were. And offered some to my husband. Because my husband loves peppers. Hot, mild. Doesn't matter. He loves them. I, on the other hand, can't do hot. Very, very hot. He'll eat just about any type of pepper. But his favorite are those yellow ones. Okay. That's that. Now, here we go. This is my pan where I'm going to put the breast. Take a little onion and you're going to spread it on top of the bacon. Just like so. No rhyme or reason. It's just that sometimes here, the breasts are so dry, they don't, they need something. So that's what I do. Now, I lay a sprig of rosemary, some of my beautiful rosemary, take the breast. And I lay it down, just like that. Just like that. Let me wash my hands. Hand. And look at what I'm going to plant this evening. Those are collards. And I'm going to take the rest of my black pepper mixture. And I'm going to just sprinkle it on there just to make certain that these are seasoned well because they are large breasts. Okay, now I'm going to put, I took the pepper, cut it in half and I removed the seeds just in case it's one of those hot, hot, hot peppers. A little onion on the top. I put that piece there because I have some little pieces that I can put over here. There we go, on the breast. Then I'm going to put another sprig of my gorgeous rosemary. And now let me see if I can wrap the bacon around with one hand and then put it in the oven. And while I have you here, 
Let me brag on my amazing husband. Look at what he baked from a YouTube today. That is a fresh blueberry pie. Mm-hmm. Now, let's start with this one. See if I can do this with one hand. You just wrap the bacon, making your package to hold this in. Now, like I said, these are some super, super large um, chicken breasts. There you go. When they are this large, you may need four pieces. And I'm trying to get away with three. There's my onion and pepper falling. And you just wrap it. Like so. Now make yours pretty. Use both hands. There we go. There we go. Yeah. This one is really big. There we go. And there we go. This piece of onion came out, but I'm going to sit it on top. Now you take this and you bake it. Just roast it in the oven until the chicken breasts are done. And I'll come back and I'll show you what they look like after they've roasted. 